Let's see what happened in this one. Let's take you out there to Lakeview and uh, all right, the captain's getting the weather. They're getting ready to go. Shaking hands and let's play some football. Lakeview getting things going early. Dwayne Nichols finding some running room and he's gonna bust that one out for about 20 yards. That sets up this. Rico Brown, the reigning HTC game ball winner for week 11, setting the tone and getting the rock and doing what he did last week and basically doing what he's done all season long. Takes it in for six. Two point conversions, good. Wow, Gators up eight to nothing. Fans enjoying what they see from the home team. Hey, rightfully so. There you go, ladies, enjoy themselves. Lakeview ball again, Nichols again, running it down to the 10 yard line before he's finally brought down. But the Wild Gators are in good shape. They're gonna go to the air this time. Weston Rogers. Gonna scan the field, look in and finds Brown, who is delivering. Give him the second touchdown of the game. 14 nothing. Gators. Fans yelling for some defense. Defense, defense, fired up. Oh, that guy's real fired up. All right. Timmonsville back on the offensive. But unfortunately for them, Rico Brown says, you know what? I can play both sides of the ball. Comes up with a sack there. Boy, this kid can flat play some football. The Gators get it back and Nichols gets it back. Following his blockers and busting it out again. This time that would lead to another 20 yard run and that would lead to a Christian McDaniel sighting. He'll take it in for another Lakeview score and the Wild Gators are moving on to the lower state championship. They win it 40 to six to improve to nine and three. McDaniel nine carries a buck 44, two touchdowns. Up next, another home date. Estelle coming in town. The winner there will head to the big show, the state championship in Columbia in two weeks.